probably anger a few people by saying this, but green flag, green flag. this is a terrible track for slow vehicles. Okay, here comes your first time lap. And when you get prototypes, any cars, uh, it's better. But, I mean, I'm falling asleep right now here on the straightaway. And then it's just like a street course in the middle of a forest. Lots of 90 degrees. And uh, no elevation really in the turns, but you've got the dips and hills before the turns. I just never liked this place, but um, I really dislike it in this thing because two and a half minute laps and well I'm slow because like I tried practicing a bit and I was so bored out of my mind um, it just takes forever to get to the next turn so the race will be more exciting as always here because there will be tons of draft and there will be side by side and people trying to outbreak each other uh, this corner after the downhill extremely difficult uh, never had this much of an issue at this corner but um, GR86 likes to bounce and spin there but yeah one of my least favorite road course tracks I get the appeal of it in real life it's kind of like when I take a sprint car to Knoxville in real life. That would be crazy and scary and fast. And coming here in real life, a place where you can just stomp the gas and hold it for multiple seconds, tens, 20 seconds. Um, I'm sure that's a lot of fun in real life. But in sim racing, oh, it's just so boring. So, I am not planning on being fast. Luckily, we are near the back in I rating. Uh, we got one viewer in here at least. And, uh, hopefully, we can just kind of attach ourselves to the back of the pack, get that draft. Not be completely terrible, but from the looks of it, we're only going to do uh, 36. 36. We'll see how many people fall asleep and miss the breaking points on their laps, and maybe we'll uh, be further up than I think. Not looking like it though. Eighth already. But yeah, it's just such a boring track in slow cars, especially by yourself. It will get nuts because, well, you can make anything crazy when you put a bunch of sim racers on it. But just doing laps like this is very painful. Oh, that's going to be terrible. That's why... Uh, as easy as this track is with the corners, the braking zones, lots of high speed braking, and uh, many ways to screw yourself up. You get a big rotation there and have to spend a tenth collecting it. So once you start getting that draft and trying to avoid others and try not to get ran into. It's going to get even more hectic. People are going to be getting shot off the track, spun out. Uh, this, the kink, should be a non-factor unless you just can't see it in traffic. Now, I will say Canada Corner is uh, a fun one. I don't know why. It's got that little dip down, and it's an interesting, but it's kind of boring in this car. Just 
everything's kind of boring in this car at this track. But I am sure it will provide some of that pack racing and uh, we don't get there. So, Sasha is the viewer in the number 18. And, well, I mean, we would have moved up like one spot, so it didn't really matter that we didn't get all the way in there. 233's at the front. We're only three seconds off, you know. It's not bad. 15-minute uh, race, and uh, Sasha up there in ninth. So, yeah, let's just hope we don't have to do a full pace lap. Son of a... One to go. Next time by. Line up on the Seriously. right side. Closed. Pit road is Sakuba, we get like three feet to pace. Road America, we got to do the whole damn thing. If only there was a long straightaway somewhere around this track that they could put us on that's not the front stretch. <sighs> iRacing, seriously. Stupid little stuff like this. Go back and update your tracks with new things that you come up with, like short pace laps. No one wants to do a full pace lap at Road America. Especially when you guys have had to, like, disable generating tire heat and all these other things at lower speeds because now the whole pace lap's pointless anyways. But I, I th for sure thought we were going to start on the uh, straightaway back um, at the kink. But hey, we get to add another three, four minutes to this. Catch up, 10, car. Catch up, 8, car. Catch up, 18, car. I mean, either make us do a full pace lap everywhere, or get all your tracks updated when you create new stuff. This is, this is why I think that when we get rain, it's only going to be on certain tracks. We won't even get rain for every road course track. Probably only Roval we'll get rain for is Charlotte and Daytona. Maybe Indy. I just... The completeness of things just... Uh, Never seems to happen. What is this guy doing? Why? Half that 16 car. <sighs> I have no idea. I am not going to get near him because I don't want to get wrecked on a pace lap. Well, we know who we're getting ran into by. Famous basketball player Michael LeBron from Indiana, just ahead of us. He's Club Indiana. I had to look at it. And, uh, yeah. I'm a little worried about. Well, the leaders are really stringing out here too behind the pace car. Let's get some of that squeal out. The brakes heated. Catch up seven car. Pretty sure the 16 is going to go three wide up the middle on the start and wreck someone into turn one. That's what I'm seeing from him. He keeps passing the person he's supposed to start behind. But 
But all we gotta do is finish 15th or higher, and we've done what we're supposed to. But yeah, the starts here are usually pretty crazy as well. Three wide, and then you get some prediction code, and then sometimes get a uh, nice little wreck on the straightaway before you even get to turn one. They went on pace car. We're going to be a little bit behind. That's fine. I'll just move on over. We are slower than everyone on the straightaway. Right side. Keep to the left. And we're gonna drive off the track. Still there, hold your line. Great start by me. It's put us right next to the guy that doesn't know how to pace. I'm sure this will go well. No, he actually backed off and didn't try to go for the pass. Alright, so. The first corner where stuff really stacks up hard down here at the bottom of the hill. I'm only coming out here just so I can see, I'm not trying to pass. Things get messy down here. But it looks like everyone right. is staying clean. Clear. Amazingly. thing going forward since we're going to have like four laps of racing here. Not spin out here. First time I'm going to be going through here with traffic. I don't think arrow is going to come into play with these. Vision. Chickened out. Wasn't quite sure. We were fine though. Doesn't matter. Massive draft to pull us back up. These are really spreading out more than I thought they would too. Doesn't seem like they have quite the draft slow that some ahead. of the others do. And we get two free spots. Someone might have got some damage up ahead of us as well. Be patient. Big stack up ahead of us. Six laps is what Race Lab is saying. Oh, and 
looks like they have wrecked behind us, so... Massive gap. Nothing to worry about in the mirror anymore, so let's see if we can stay up with these guys. Blue car is really struggling for top speed. He's put himself in a bad spot here. Still there, hold your line. Clear. And then we got a long straightaway to pull away from him. Hopefully I can get through this corner without being too terrible. Don't know why I downshift to make myself feel better, but... Revving the hell out of it. Too far to get draft, but I'm gonna pull away from the guy behind. This is going to be 11th place. So now we just got to try to string some corners together. Undergrove that. It's time for best lap comparison. Behind, got the dirt on exit, so we're gonna pull away from him even more. So now, with his slow straightaway speed, he gets a slow exit. Late dive by the Argentina looking car. Just slows them both down. Makes the orange guy angry with him. I didn't see if uh, one of those cars that was wrecked with Sasha. We'll have to take a look when we get to the straightaway. like it was. But we've caught the pack. Which is good news for us. So now we can just sit here and wait for mistakes. I believe that person got a bumper on corner entry and got sent out wide. puts us in the top 10. We're not going to pass these guys and uh, pull away from them. Just not going to happen. So we're just going to ride at the back and let the mistakes happen because I'm not quicker than any of them. We got caught up because they were racing each other and now we've just got the draft to pull us around. So it's just going to be don't get caught up in their mess while they try to race for positions that are never going to matter until the last lap. I think we're going to see a dive, a payback dive by the orange car, possibly. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, we got... Go left. Car on. Stay on Front the two cars running into each other before they even get to the corner. Got the 12 running off wide. Car on, clear on the right. 11 given zero room when I was going to have to for sure check up there. And we're just 
just going to work with the orange car. Hopefully the two behind us make a big mistake, but we got one wrecked here. Woo. Glad that he saw that. I have to just check up here. Just gonna back off. Clear on the right. These guys are all gonna go wreck each other. Clear on the right. It's uh, essentially Daytona and Talladega. With slightly more skill needed, but no ability to get away from each other. But it is just going to let the two guys that we dropped catch up. And, uh... Now these guys are trying to wreck on us right away. Because, hey, why go fast when we could just run into each other? Alright, two to go. We're in 8th place. The 11 car put himself in the worst position he could. But maybe he's hoping to get past before the line. And then he takes another run at it. But we'll see if he somehow wrecks himself at the bottom of the hill again. This again. Clear on the right. And the 12 sucking Clear that corner right. once again. He's got Clear a lot of damage right. now, though. Car right. Stay on the left. Clear. Just had to. Stay defensive there for a second. Let's see what kind of damage the orange guys got. Looks like the uh, Argentina colored car is slow. And got 17 coming back up here. No, that's the 7. Argentina's the 17. I don't know if those are Argentina colors. It just kind of looks like the flag. Should be white flag here. Amazingly, we're in sixth place. And now we're next to the guy who hasn't made it through the next corner without wrecking, so I'm sure we're about to get wrecked. Orange guy kind of swerves at the seven there. That was weird. The leader has lost the lead. Slow car ahead. 
car is off. We've got a possible top five if this guy is broken. Well, we're in the grass, but luckily the orange car followed us into it. Seven got a big push there, but we're not getting enough draft here to do anything. Tried to fake to the inside, but we weren't even close, so it's no point in trying. But uh, the patience pays off. going to take a sixth place. Sixth or better. You got a toy car on the right. <laughs> and it's a sixth. All right. There's a ticket flag. <laughs> Amazingly. Great Only one job. X. Really I don't well. even know when I got that one X, but uh, I feel like we raced really clean. There was no need to battle it out. Just wait till the last lap or wait for them to wreck. That guy that I said wrecked every time at the bottom of the hill, he apparently wrecked again. And, uh, yeah. Get a little flash there. But yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone's like, oh, it's such a great race. And, I mean, it's so boring. But once you start getting cars in a pack, then you see why this ends up on the schedule every freaking time. So, uh, unfortunately, Sasha, good qualifying. Back to 13th, though. Let's uh, take a look at the contacts. I'm happy with how I ran that because that could have been could have been a lot of bad for us. And luckily, we just were patient, let everyone wreck. Okay, the yellow car just doesn't lift out that Sasha. <laughs> Gotta lift a little bit. I mean, it's not a slide job or anything. And then the nine loops it, and... That was one of the hits, and then Sasha's back here. Just got loose on corner entry. Oh, I thought... I had thought that someone hit him, but uh, they didn't, so. Yeah, I mean, the first incident, I would never want to damage my front end or risk damaging my front end at a track like this. And the nine gets going. Everyone's going. And we got a little contact there at the front. Oh, the 16 pulled to me and hit the grass and spun to the left and uh, takes out the 13. And a little bit of contact there. 16 really enjoying the grass and well, now he's in the wall and has flipped. That was an awkward one. All right, so here's the big dive. I thought for sure. I mean, look how far back this dude is. I, I mean, he does it to avoid just destroying the 12, but it definitely doesn't make the 12 happy. He gives him a little pop here. But again, 
I, I wouldn't risk damaging the front end. Not here. Where is... I mean, Seven did this, and I know this is where I thought he had gotten ran into, so he backs off, and then he overcooks it and just ends up out there on his own. I thought for sure he had gotten hit, but then when these guys start screwing around a bunch, wrecking in this corner every single time. Yeah, the uh, the 17, or no, this was the 11, sorry. The 11 was just extremely aggressive for no reason. And a little grass, a little wall, and then he pulls it off just as we're about to turn to the right. And we were both looking to go right, and then, whoop, and luckily, I could see it still. Just barely, though. And we get saved there, but then we just gotta back out here, because nothing we can do, and so 11 nearly runs into the back of us there, goes for the pass, but then... Argentina car runs into him, and we pass another two or three cars in that corner. And then, this is up for the lead, and they start drafting and bump drafting, and they just get into each other, following each other around. Thought for sure he was going to damage someone there. We're having a hell of a race for the lead. And, well, he didn't have enough grass the last time, so he goes for a bit more. And big dive and contact, but I believe he gives him the spot back at the line. And, well, this isn't for the win. That is for, like, 10th and 11th. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with how I did. Uh, I mean, getting a sixth place there. It's just be patient. Don't run into things. Save that front end because you need it to push the air. Let's take a look at results. 57 I rating gained, 11 safety rating, and uh, one incident. I think a lot of these people were bump drafting, getting incidents from that as well. But, uh, yeah, 109 points. Let's see if the standings actually work. 214th right now. So, um, it's saying it's counting nine weeks, but I'm pretty sure that it's only factoring in eight. Because we've been right around 1,000 back the whole time. So, you know what? I'm happy with it. It's a boring track to qualify on and practice on. The racing is very annoying, but if you're patient, let the idiots wreck out or get angry with each other and uh, damage their front ends, and then you just blast past them. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.